My name is Russell Schumacher. I sold technology to the world back when there was technology. And people would sell it to. Getting your priorities straight is a constant challenge. Leaving the speaker's house, I had that morning after feeling, that sickening mix of shame and regret, like I'd been on a bender. I told myself I wasn't going to waste any more time chasing clues, looking for answers I may never find. I just wanted to get home, back to my family, to what was important. I was going to make up for lost time. Route 80 was due north, so I decided to take Eli's advice and stay off the expressway and make a new road. It occurred to me most of the planet hadn't changed that much after the fall. Nature just went on as if nothing had happened. She wasn't just surviving, she was thriving. Mankind had tried to tame the planet, to take control, impose our will. But all we really accomplished was to wipe ourselves out, along with technology the very thing we were counting on to master the universe. I'd always been intimidated by nature. You fear what you don't understand. I remember Kizzy wanting me to camp out with her in the backyard. Come on, Dad. It'll be fun. I told her my back was acting up. There were always excuses. I could only hope I'd get the chance to do it all over again. Make the right choices this time. By that point on my journey, I still wasn't exactly one with nature. But for a city boy, I did surprise myself how well I was adapting. It started to become obvious that the scariest thing out in the wild was still mankind. My first instinct was keep walking. But I could see it was human tracks, and curiosity took hold. The blood was still wet, and there was a lot of it. The closer I got, the more worried I got. I had a first aid kit, but I didn't even know CPR. How could I possibly help this person? You're not one of them. Edward Hanley said he was a fugitive from some kind of religious cult that tried to purify him. He spoke a mile a minute, but from what I could gather, he was as good as dead if he got caught. I asked him all sorts of questions, trying to get a handle on the situation, but the guy came unglued. Keep it safe. It's my only evidence. I was torn. Part of me said, don't get involved. Just get home. That was my priority. It's too late. They're coming. Looking back, I don't regret stopping to help Edward. But one thing is clear. My path home is forever altered.